Tappy. Tappy. Sebastian. Stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. Okay, I'm not going to get involved in that right away. But this is the person I need to talk to. Please, can you help me? My brother. Don't worry. Helping people and killing people are what I'm best at. Uh, I, I uh, hope there will be no call to kill anyone, Sarah. Karen was always so devout, so idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. Others say she is terribly fierce, and utterly without pity, that she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. Um, it's kind of common knowledge that most mages that are made tranquil are made tranquil against their will. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. May God bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. I had forgotten that this was one of the quests that needed to be completed in order to... Good day to you in order to go and continue on with the main story. It wasn't listed under the main quest section, that's why I wasn't thinking about it. You there, Ferelden. I wish to speak with you. I've heard you have dealings with certain elements in the city. You can get things done on the sly, as they say. What of it, old man? I am a magistrate in this city, and I expect to be addressed with respect. Especially from someone who might be working for me soon. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over to the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. It would be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Fereldan. Not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. I'm sure if you send in enough men this time, they'd do fine. No. The more guards you know, the easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, 
You'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Alright, that wasn't necessary for this episode. Uh, I'll probably end up losing that quest if I don't complete it, though, by the time I leave. I need to find those two guys, though. Hold on. Uh, what were their names? Oh, I need to go to the gallows. I'm looking at the friggin' high town. <laughs> Get the hell out of here then. Just keeping the peace. Eh, this is not the way out. So this relic you mentioned losing... You have pretty eyes. I have pretty eyes. You elves have such pretty eyes. Even the men. It makes me want to pluck them out and wear them as a necklace. I wouldn't suggest trying. Oh, I would never try. Not without reason, of course. Forget I said anything. All right. Mika, here are him. Do you know a recruit named Karen? His sister is looking for him. We cannot speak to you, Messer. To the void with that. Karen and the others are missing. But our orders... The Knights aren't doing anything to find them. Maybe it's time to ask for outside help. I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? The first ones disappeared weeks ago. There's been at least half a dozen. Wilmot and Karen were the most recent. Why must you keep silent about Karen? You obviously aren't a Templar, Messer. A Knight Lieutenant gives you an order, and you obey, without question. They told us not to breathe a word about Karen and the others. They must have their reasons. And that'll be a great comfort if you go missing next. You're already defying orders to talk to me. Might as well share the good stuff. I hear that Knight Commander Meredith has some new initiation you have to go through. If you're not strong enough, or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Seems to me a weak Templar would die just as quickly. And you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. What else do you know about the initiation? You hear about some... <laughs> questionable things that the Order must do these days. The Knight Commander only wants Templars that can do what must be done. And trust they alive. She's killing recruits that might question her orders, isn't she? That's rubbish. She wouldn't do that. If Wilmot came back, he might know more about the other missing recruits. I bet he would. Wilmot told me he was going outside Kirkwall. Clear his head, he said. Why didn't you tell us this? Knight Captain Cullen ordered it. Right before he chased after Wilmot. That wasn't too long ago. If you hurry, you may catch them on the road. Alright, so... It seems as though we have another problem when it comes to the Templars. The Templars have always been kind of a kind of aggressive when it comes to their suppression of the mages. And this Knight Commander Mary, this seems to really be no different. In fact, a little, a little bit worse in regards to, like, not only her fear of the mages, but she seems to be in the middle of some kind of a power play, looking to gain more power by, and from what it seems like, maybe she's trying to gain a more loyal following out of the other Templars by eliminating those who would potentially... And just they be my witness, Wilmot. I will have the truth from you now! Mercy, sir. 
mercy. Were it that easy? Don't hit me. I will know where you're going, and I will know now. Why are you doing this to Wilmot? Answer me. This is Templar business, stranger. <laughs> you have struck me the last time, you pathetic human. To me! Make her preserve us. Well, that was something that happened. All right, so the guy was a uh, guy was an abomination, I guess. Come on, Cullen, help me out here. I knew. I knew he was involved in something sinister. But this... Is it even possible? Do you think he was possessed? Normally, we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. I had not thought one of our own would be susceptible. You shouldn't have been out here alone with him. I am Knight Captain Cullen. I thank you for your assistance. I've been conducting an investigation of some of our recruits who have gone missing. Wilmot was the first to return. I had hoped to confront him quietly, out of sight. If you didn't know he was possessed, why draw your sword on a recruit? He'd only been back a few days when he left again secretly. It set off some warning bells. I meant to scare him into a confession. He had to believe my threats were genuine. The recruits believed that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weaving circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. Do you know what happened to Wilmot while he was gone? Obviously more than I had anticipated. Wilmot has never been fully convinced of the Order's rules. Mages cannot be our friends. They must always be watched. I thought Wilmot might be meeting with some old friends who'd escaped the Circle. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the Circle Tower in Ferelden during the Blight. I saw firsthand how Templars' trust and leniency can be rewarded. I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravities. Where there's one demon, there's usually more. Where do we start digging? I fear it is time to widen this investigation. My discretion may have cost me one of our best recruits, Wilmot's friend Karen. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the, uh, young ladies there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. I'd be willing to search there. The Order would truly be in your debt if you helped us with this. No one at the brothel will speak with me for fear I would shut them down for serving our recruits. If you learn what manner of creature did this to Wilmot, please come tell me in the gallows. 
I will ensure you are rewarded. Okay. Someone's always trying to claim the streets. If you make them safe to travel at night, someone will reward you. Yay, thanks for that advice. Cullen was a character. He referenced, uh, referenced the events of the mage's circle being infected by, like, demonic possession back in Dragon Age Origins. He was there for that. And this part of the game takes place maybe about a year or so after that event. So, he has been, uh... So, it's pretty fresh in his memory. And he was, he, and he was there for that, and he was the... Business appears to be good. Mind you, I imagine demand is fairly constant. He was the Templar that had been imprisoned in a sort of protective shield, and was visually and verbally tortured by the demons that had taken over the circle. And he had gone suitably insane by the time you stumbled across him, and he demanded that you go and go up there and just kill all the mages. And then, if you didn't do it, if you saved the mages, then he goes and retreats back down to the to the entrance and and tries to convince everybody that the mages still needed to be killed just in case. So he was the kill all the mages guy. Just to give you an idea, to inform you of his sort of perspective on not being lenient with the mages. Do you need something, honey? You don't work here, do you? With the customers. You're no prize yourself, sweetheart. Is there something you want? A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. Perhaps a few coins can loosen your lips. Are you trying to bribe me? You know, not all the girls here are for sale. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. We have a lot of missing Templars. If we don't act quickly, we may only find corpses. Now, now, no need to get all dramatic on me. Let me look through the books. Wilmot, Karen. Here we go. Wilmot came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? The both of them last saw Iduna, the exotic wonder from the East. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilma's favorite position, I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? Quintus. Not the most pleasant prostitute, but okay. How do you do that? Do what, kitten? You sort of... Swagger when you walk. I've been trying, but I trip over my own feet when I do it. You just strut. It's not something you practice. How do I learn it then? It comes to you. Usually at night. It's like a lover. Or maybe a burglar. Either it ravishes you, or runs off with all your jewellery. And you have to run it down and stab it in the heart. And that metaphor got a bit away from me, didn't it? I think it did, but it was certainly exciting. It'd be weird, less weird if they'd actually looked at each other while speaking. You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. 
Stop playing dumb. Answer my question. Oh, we like it rough, do we? Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Are you certain we can't postpone this, Hawk? You should listen to your friend. We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? You really can be quite a bore. You know that, right? You've got one more chance to answer me before I make you. I'm just trying to make a living. No need to be cross. Who told you about little old me? It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. Meryl, make it, Duna. Stop. This ends now. How did you? Oh shit! Spare me, Messer. What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from... elsewhere. Blood magic, then? Yes, Monsieur. Please don't kill me. You're going to answer all my questions. And if there's even a hint of magic... Tarani put me here. To send biddable Templar recruits to the Sanctuary. Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Keren weeks ago. But after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. It was all Tarane's idea. Tell me about Tarane. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Imperium. That mages can rule again, not serve. She says the Templars cannot hold against us if we stand up and fight. This base of yours. How many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That's all I know. You're just too dangerous. You have to die. No. No! Got Isabella friendship out of that. <laughs> okay. We gotta we know where we gotta go now. Playing the victim as soon as everything turned against her though. <laughs> Wasn't gonna fall for that one. Kirkwall knights aren't safe. Always some group of thugs around. Someone will usually pay for their removal. Uh, where did we have to go? Was it to Gallows or something? Dark Town! Of course. It's got to take place in Dark Town, doesn't it? May as well be. I will take great pleasure in rooting out this nest of blood mages. It will not be the first. Oh man, the sky's a lunatic. <laughs> Crap! Well, at least it's not boring. How about you? Lost.
lost a cursor. Should I let them handle this? Ah, oh, one followed me up here. I'm gonna die. Well, since they've already turned into abominations and stuff, and it's pretty clear that they are, they're not, like, in disguise or anything, I guess, uh, all the moral qualms about coming in here and killing all these mages are gone. For the most part, we always have to consider that it's going to be a dangerous thing. <sighs> there are... Ah, oh, damn it. There have been multiple instances in the past where we've had to, in this game and in Origins, where we had to consider the possibility that somebody, just for being a mage, might potentially be some sort of a threat, being an abomination, being possessed by a demon, whatever you want to call it. Now they, um... And that was always going to raise some sort of a moral question, like, crap. Am I killing an innocent person here? Am I enslaving an innocent person? Whatever. But that's not really an issue here because they're clearly already possessed. Don't have any magic. Trap. And that should do it. What happened down there? Jeez. It's a nightmare. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. These mages always fall to the first demon's promise. I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. 
With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar, any noble, any well-meaning meddler. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar, any noble, any well-meaning meddler. You do know I cut a path through your abominations, right? Good, good! The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Tell me where Karen is. The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap, so it's not a complete waste. The demons are using you. Fight them. In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. Kill the vessels only if you must. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, I got a few mages there, and I got an abomination here. So let's, uh... Let's make them pay for this. Desire Demon. Not quite working out the way I planned. Alright, I got it here. There's a desire demon here. I can't hop in that forever. Okay, I guess that's it. Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. But is it only Karen? It could be Karen plus one. A very nasty plus one at that. The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Meryl? You know something about this. Is he possessed? I don't know. It's... It's clean. There's no scent of demons in his blood. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No, no, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I, I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I, I, I must go. Sir Cullen awaits our word. Okie dokie. Rescued this fellow. Let's get out of here. 
No, I trust that Merrill would know whether he was possessed or not. So we're just going to tell him that he's alright. Freedom. What a crock. I think he's in the gallows. of your recruits may have been possessed by demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. Demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. The situation is dealt with. Who is right and wrong is academic. Wrong! This is no stuffy scholar's debate. This is the central fact of the world that Andraste recognized. <sighs> but I will not preach. Thank you for your service. I will relieve Karen of his commission now, pending investigation. If there is any chance he still harbors a demon in him... No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He is not to blame. But tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. What the hell are you looking at me for? We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. A wise choice. If you have shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Fenris didn't like that, but whatever. People talk about the Fern. It's a prison. It's no different than anywhere in Thedas. Okay. <laughs> 